Welcome back to Roll at Real Estate School's Booster Shot series. In this video, we will be covering the second part of Chapter 10, Legal Descriptions. This segment of Chapter 10 covers In-depth discussion on the government survey system. The intent of the government survey system was to create a large grid with every square of the grid uniquely identified, as you can see in figure 89 here. The government survey system is based on north and south and east and west intersecting lines and is especially adapted to describing land in concise symbols and words. The grid system is used in Florida and in most of the United States, except for the original 13 states. Florida's principal meridian is a north-south line that runs through a monument located in the city of Tallahassee. Florida's baseline runs east and west through the monument. Measures and terms associated with the government survey system. We have a township, which is a square of land, six miles on each side, so it's six miles square, containing 36 square miles, or 36 sections. A township tier is an east-west strip of land, north and south of a baseline. A section is a square that is one mile on each side, or one mile square, containing one square mile or 640 acres. A quarter section is 160 acres, measuring 2,640 feet by 2,640 feet, a quarter of the land inside a section, obviously. Historically, a quarter section was an area of land originally granted to a homesteader. Today, the 160 acres is still used to establish the limits of homesteaded property outside the boundaries of a municipality. A government lot. Fractional pieces of land less than a quarter section located along the banks of lakes and streams. Government lots were identified by a specific lot number, which became the legal description for the parcel. Range. To create the grid system, the surveyors established vertical north and south range lines parallel to the principal meridian, every six miles apart. The six miles wide north-south strip of land between two vertical range lines is called a range, as illustrated with the blue arrow. Each range is numbered beginning at the principal meridian. The first vertical north-south strip of land east of the principal meridian is range 1 east, or R1E. The range numbers increase by 1 as you move further from the principal meridian. The next range east of the principal meridian is R2E, then R3E, and so on. The first range west of the principal meridian is R1W, then R2W, and R3W, and so on. Township. The surveyors also established horizontal east-west township lines parallel to the baseline every six miles resulting in a series of lines six miles apart on either side of the baseline. Each of these six miles wide horizontal strips of land on either side of the baseline is called a township tier. It's the same thing as the range line, except instead of going up and down, they go left and right. To help remember that township tiers are horizontal strips, think of the tiers of a wedding cake. Another way to remember is township lines with the line going across from the T 
and range lines, with the line coming down off the capital R. Each township tier is numbered beginning at the baseline. The first horizontal east-west strip of land north of the baseline is numbered Township 1N or T1N. The township line numbers increase by 1 moving further from the baseline. For example, after T1N, the next township tier north of the baseline is T2N, then T3N, and so on. The numbering also begins with the number 1 south of the baseline. The first tier south of the baseline is T1S, then T2S, T3S, and so on. The grid pattern is formed by crossing or intersection of range lines and township lines, producing a series of squares, 6 miles by 6 miles, called townships. A township contains 36 square miles, or 36 separate townships. Note that the term township has two meanings. In addition to an east-west strip of land on either side of the baseline, the term also refers to the actual square itself that is formed by the intersection of two range lines and two township lines. Each 36 square mile township is 6 miles by 6 miles and is identified by the strip of townships or the township tier and the range in which it is located. The description of the township located due east of T3N R2W is T3N R1W. The township is numbered beginning at the baseline and increases by one number north and south. The range is numbered beginning at the principal meridian and increases by one number east and west. Locate and shade in the townships numbered T2N R2E and T3S R1W. I'll give you a moment to locate them. There's T2N R2E and there's T3S R1W. For the state test, you will need to know how to draw the township grid by memory or work it out in your head. Sections. Each township is further divided into 36 sections. Each section is one square mile or 640 acres. Sections are numbered starting in an S pattern, starting in the northeast upper right corner of the township and moving down, right to left, left to right, right to left, and so on until you reach section 36. And this right here is the grid you will need for the state test. You will need to remember how it is numbered and how you move down. This method is repeated until the section number 36 is reached in the southeast corner of every township. In writing a legal description of a section, the standard sequence is to write the section number first, the township tier number and direction next, the range number and direction last. For example, section 36 Township 1 South, Range 1 West, which you can abbreviate to Section 36 T1S R1W. In locating a section in a description that reads all of Section 36, consider how the sections are numbered. 
For example, section 36 cannot be anywhere except in the lower right hand corner of the township numbered T1S R1W. Which goes to say, no matter what the township is, section 36 will always be in the bottom right. Check. Is a square 24 miles on each side created by intersecting guide meridians and correction lines. Used to adjust the grid pattern of squares because of the curvature of the earth. A check contains 16 different townships. Subdividing sections. First, divide the entire section into fourths. The quarter section now situated in the upper right corner is called the northeast quarter. The one in the lower right corner is the southeast quarter and so on around the section. Directions are always given in terms of the direction from the center of the section where the two dividing lines intersect. Quarter sections contain 160 acres. Quarter sections can be further divided just as a section is divided. If you are interested in a tract smaller than 160 acres, you can divide any quarter just as you did the section. By dividing the results until you find the tract you want. In locating a property from a legal description, you must first start with the last part of the description and read it backwards to the left. So if you need to find the southwest quarter of the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of section 36, the first thing you need to do is read it backwards and locate the northwest quarter of section 36 first. When located, divide that quarter into quarters and find the southeast quarter. Once you find that, divide that quarter into quarters and locate the northwest quarter. Divide that quarter into quarters and locate the southwest quarter and there you have it. Here's the same description again. Remember that we are locating the last part first and working to the left. So, We'll start with the blue part of section 36 first, the northwest quarter. Then the red quarter, which is southeast. Then the yellow, which is the northeast. And the green, which is the southwest. Last time, here's a close-up of the northwest quarter of section 36. So, of the northwest quarter, is the entire northwest chunk, which we colored blue. And then the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter is the red, because it was in the south, the bottom, east, the right side. And then of that southeast quarter, we're looking for the northeast quarter, which north means the top two, east means the right side. And then the southwest quarter of the northeast quarter, so then we'll go south for the bottom and west for the left and get the green quarter. To find the number of acres in a tract, take 640 acres in one section and divide it by the denominator in each fraction of the legal description. For example, if you're looking for the southwest quarter of the northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of a certain parcel contains how many acres? So I take 640 acres in one whole section and divide it by four, four times because there's four different quarters which are a quarter each being four to come to 2.5 acres. and in legal description. If the word and is in the middle of a description, calculate the acres on either side of and separately and then add them to find the total acres.
Example, the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter and the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. So above the and, we have 640 for the section, divided by 4 twice for the southeast quarter and the northwest quarter, which comes to 40 acres. On the other side of and, we have the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. So we start with 640 acres again and divide it by two different quarters or two different fours and come to 40 acres again. And then we add the 40 acres to the other 40 acres to come to a total of 80 acres. So practice problem number six. How many acres are in the legal description? Remember to calculate the acres on either side of and separately and then add them together. So if we have the north half of the southeast quarter of the southwest quarter and the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter. I'll give you another hint. Remember that you're just dividing it by the bottom part of the fraction. So don't let the north half throw you off. Just divide it by two. So we have 640 acres divided by 2 for the half and then 4 again twice for the quarters to come to 20 acres. On the other side of and, it was just 2 quarters. So we have 640 divided by 4 twice to come to 40 acres. Then you add your 20 and your 40 together to come to 60 total acres. Time for the review questions. Number one, with C as in Charlie, you have 640 acres per section, divided by four three times for the three different quarters comes to 10 acres. Number two, with D as in Delta, you have your 640 acres per section, divided by a quarter and a half to come to 80 acres. 640 acres divided by 4 twice to come to 40 acres. 640 acres divided by 4 twice for two more quarters to come to 40 acres again. And then you just add your 80 acres to your 40 acres to your other 40 acres to come to a total of 160 acres. Number 4 or three in your quiz. Remember they're numbered originally following the questions at the end of the book, but I have them numbered per your quiz at the bottom for you to keep them straight here. Was C as in Charlie. The government survey system is simple and accurate and allows the land to be described in concise symbols and words, resulting in a kind of land description shorthand. Number five, or your four, was B as in Bravo. T3S indicates the third tier of townships south of the baseline. R5E indicates the fifth column of ranges east of the principal meridian. Number six, or your five, was C as in Charlie. A check is a square measuring 24 miles on each side. 7, or your 6, was D as in delta. The term township refers to the square formed by the intersection of two range lines and two township lines. Number 8, or your 7, was A as in alpha. The six miles wide vertical or north-south strips enclosed between range lines are numbered consecutively from both east and west of the principal meridian. A particular range is located by counting to the east or west of the principal meridian. Range 1 east is the first range east of the principal meridian. Nine, or your eight, was C as in Charlie. 
The township due north of T1N is T2N, indicating it is located in the tier of townships just north of Tier 1. Because we did not move east or west, the range number did not change. Number 10, or your 9, was D as in Delta. There are 36 sections in a township. A township is a square 6 miles by 6 miles, containing an area of 36 square miles. 11, or your 10, was B as in Bravo. In writing a legal description of a section, it is customary to show the section number first, then the township tier number and direction, and lastly, the range number and direction. 12, or your 11, was D as in Delta. Each section measures one mile on each side. There are six sections from the north boundary of a township to the south boundary of a township. However, the question asked for the north boundary of section 36, not the south boundary. 13 was D as in Delta, or your 12, have 640 acres per section, divided by two quarters and a half, comes to 20 acres. 14, or your 13, was B as in Bravo. The northwest quarter equals 640 acres, divided by 4 for the quarter, 160 acres. Divided by half, comes to 80 acres. And that brings us to the end of the second part of Chapter 10. This was Paul from Rolette Real Estate School signing off. Thanks for watching.